Okay, we're going to read another work from Coal Kingdom. Um, this is the one I read on the air uh, for our last video, our last interview with um, uh, A Voice in the Mountains. Seems like I read it on another interview when I had to read a piece. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it is probably my favorite. Um, I wrote it about my grandfather. I have gotten to the point where I can read it without choking up, so... Uh, I did choke up a little bit on the radio the other day, but it was not noticeable, and I think I can keep it to that point. It's a very personal poem, and, and many of these are. Um, this is called King of Dirt. The smell of strong coffee and gas heat. The feel of old worn wood floors on bare feet. Time often seemed to stand still back then. The, sem the memories seem fresh as they flood back... <clears throat> The memories seem fresh as they flood back again. I sat in wonder as the old men held court in the middle of the floor. Everyone sitting in a circle with a heater at the core. Everyone knew everyone. I watched them come and go. Every face and name I came to know. He sat gracefully upon his throne, king of the only kingdom I had ever known. The neighborhood men flocked as if to a clarion call. They came here to my world to discuss things large and small. The center of my world was here. This is now so painfully clear. The doors are now shut for good. Weather has battled and defeated the wood. My king has long since relinquished his throne. I had not the royal blood to carry on. With his princess in distress and his prince fallen before him, there simply is no kingdom without them. A once great palace now under fallen roof. I dig through the ruins for proof. I look to see the great kingdom of my youth, only to be blinded by sobering truth. With no king, this place has no magic, and so its fall is ever tragic. I did find some solace in this. It's not the rotting palace, but the king I miss. I was but a child. I was free and often wild. My grandfather's store, my own mythical lands. He was my king, I safe in his hands. That's um, it's a poem that means a lot to me. And um, it's one I often read when given the opportunity to read one. So it's one I wanted to put on here. But I couldn't get out everything I wanted to say about my grandfather just in one poem. And so there's numerous poems about him in there. And There'll never be enough to get that out. He was very important to myself and my mother. Um, a very central part of our life. Um, um, she was very devoted to him, and and, and and he was very big to us. So I'm going to do a two for today and just follow that up with another poem. Because <clears throat> it's similar in context, and it just kind of gives a um, maybe a prequel view to that post-apocalyptic tale. Um, it's called Prophet. He leans forward in his old ratty chair. His fingers clench as he breathes in the heater's warm air. His lips open and he begins to converse. These moments no man can reverse. The others move close to behold, to listen and to be told. Now with his point pre presented and clear, he sinks back in his seat with all ears still near. They allow his words to soak in. After a moment, the others resume the discussion again. They solve all the world's problems day in and day out. They whisper, they talk, and often shout. Of one thing is for sure, with no doubt. When the man speaks, they hear him out. Like a roaring ocean, the conversations flow fast. When he speaks, his word is last. They talk, they laugh, and grin. Sometimes more serious discussions begin. When he is happy, joy will spread. When he is angry, they fill with dread. He darts forward and his finger points out again. He bites his lip and curls his chin. The others slide their chairs back on the dirty floor. They give him room and then they give him more. When the day ends and all things have been made right, the old men go home for the night. As they ponder the day's session, they await the prophet's word. They await the words the prophet has in his possession. So it's kind of a twofer. I've done two at once. Um, so that was The King of Dirt and Profit from the book Coal Kingdom. Um, it is available on Amazon Prime. 
Uh, it is available for Prime free shipping. Um, so go get it. Thanks. Uh, again, like the video if you like it. If you really like it, share it. If you really, really, really like it, subscribe and stay with us uh, and see more videos. Thanks.